Maybe that's the way to end the show every day. All right, Laura, you're calling number 10. The Kiss and Country Morning Show has garnered some pretty amazing accolades in Canadian radio. How does a team like this do it day after day? We're here at the Kiss and Studios to find out. Let's talk about your recent awards. You've won a few of them. Well, it's, it's shocking, actually. We just heard a couple of weeks ago that we've been nominated for International Major Market Personalities of the Year. Um, I don't know how. Yeah, it's the weird, weirdest thing, but that's pretty exciting. So that award show is coming up. So it was a, it's nice to be recognized from that perspective. In the last couple of years, CCMA Major Market Personalities of the Year. And uh, you know, it's nice to be recognized by your peers. But, but truly, that, that doesn't matter as much to us as just doing a great job every day. Like, we don't really care about the awards. Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, well, <laughs> like, literally, this is my whole life right well, here. It's the only thing I've ever won aside from a participation medal. <laughs> what does it take to be an award-winning morning show? You need an old guy like Chris is what you need. It helps because then they think that maybe, you know what, if he wins this year, he'll retire. You know, that might One help. more award and then he's out the door. That's our theory anyway, I don't know. It, it, you know what, it, it takes a, a lot of chemistry for sure. Uh, Jack, who uh, is a, a, away right now on maternity leave, quite honestly, she, she'd do anything to, to not work with us. She decided to have a baby, just to take a little bit of a mat leave, literally. But it's the, it's the chemistry, it's having the right people working together that give everybody in the audience uh, you know, a feel like they're talking. For example, uh, like yeah, the older audience that's maybe grew up on Kissing Country probably can relate to me, the guy that's had the kids and, and they've grown up. Um, Matt, who's still a child in a lot of ways, right? I'm, I'm a millennial. Yeah, it's yeah. It's true. And, and, and Jack, who, uh, you know, who's a, a beautiful 30-year-old uh, lady who's now going to come back to the show, being a mom and stuff like that. It's making sure that every time you turn on that mic, you're talking to your audience or somebody in your group is talking to your audience. I think that's the secret. We're looking forward to Jack coming back because as much as her and I have the brother-sister relationship, I truly do miss her. And it'd be good to see her back in the seat again and have the team back together. Yeah, it'll be great. And Jack, I think she might bring the baby in too. So Matt's pretty excited because she'll be still nursing and Matt wants to hold the bottle. No, I got serious baby fever, Chris. It's not that. You missed my joke, but anyway. Oh, I got it. <laughs> well, hi, Kissing Country. Country music has changed so much. It sounds different, the performers look different. How would you describe it? There's traditional country lovers, but in all reality, I mean, I remember those days when Randy Travis came out and everybody was like, who's this young, hot artist? And he doesn't sound like the artist before that. And we've seen that throughout the, you know, Garth Brooks was a huge game changer for everybody. And Shania Twain came, of course. And now, I mean, we've got the Florida Georgia Lions, the Sam Hunts, those people that are actually, there's a, there's a new, younger audience. It's not your grandpa's radio station or your granddad's radio station this one anyway I mean our audience is is young and vibrant and, and it's like a family reunion I always say though truly we have the young kids we have the grandmas and grandpas that still listen and it's actually a perfect combination of things but the music is so hot and that's why you see all these concerts coming and selling out right you look at the, the the recent Garth Brooks concerts and the other ones that are coming Tim and Faith are coming and just concert after concert Northlands uh, the Coliseum is still bringing in a bunch of shows uh, anybody who tours in country music always comes to Edmonton and uh, there's a reason for that it's because the country music fans are here relax but you know how you feel you get self-conscious right now they got the you get self -conscious? and they got the camera right in my face you guys lend so much of your time and your talents to so many charities outside of the building here so tell us a bit about what keeps you busy when we uh, you know my first day here at Kissing you know what to expect when you walk in the doors you know it's more than just a radio station you know that you're expecting you know, they, the people here expect you to change, change the lives and, and when it comes to charities, be a part of that. And it's one of the things I look forward to the most, joining the team here a few years ago. And I, I wouldn't want it any differently because, you know, I truly believe that Kissing gives back the most in this community when it comes to radio. And, it's just, I'm so proud to be part of this team and, and to help those, help people like that. Over 20, I think almost 20 million dollars has been raised because of the Stoller Children's Hospital Radiothon and Hope Mission and all these different things that we've done over the years. But quite honestly now, when the Fort McMurray fires happen, instantly people are calling us and saying, what are you guys going to do about this? And we say, well, you know what, we will be the, the people that try to organize something and then nine trailers of, of, of food and clothing and everything else is collected and taken up to Fort McMurray. At this point now, people, whenever there's something like that that happens in the community, they turn to us. All right, basically you're both gonna get a chance to cluck uh, like a chicken, your favorite Garth Brooks song, and then we're gonna let listeners decide which one of you did the best job. That will be the winner of the first annual Garth Brooks Chicken Fight. 
Woohoo! All right, Cele Celeste, you were you were in first, so you get to collect first. Go ahead, Celeste. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, man. To know that we're starting people's day, good, bad, or indifferent, I think it's really important and it's exciting, right? Because by the time they get home, when I used to do the drive home show for years, by that time they've already had a lousy day or a good day and you're just kind of part of that. But we actually set the tone in a lot of people's day in the morning. So it is by far my favorite. And I do love the people I work with. There you go. There. I mean, I remember a concert, the very first one, Matt, we went on stage and your mom was there. Matt just says, can I say hi to my mom when I'm up there? <laughs> right? You did. It's, well, hey, she wanted to shout out. Yeah, and that, that's the least you could do considering she still pays your bills. Well, yeah, it's fair. I guaranteed her, you know, a shout out for another month's rent.